Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It stars Logan Lerman from Free Tin to Yuma and Percy Jackson, along with Emma Watson from Harry Potter, Mae Whitman from Tinkerbell, Ezra Miller, along with Tom Savini, Joan Cusack, Paul Rudd, and Dylan McDermott. It's based on a novel written and directed by Stephen Shabowski. The movie is about a 15-year-old teenager who has been struggling by transitions from middle school to high school. He's having problems coping with other students and so on. He's taking literature classes with his teacher along with many classes he's taking and he's considered to be a wallflower because he hardly ever talks to anybody. He's very shy, smart, with intelligence, and he loves to listen to music and read and write as well. Unfortunately, he's been struggling with his own life of problems during his young teenage years, which I know we all have been suffering a lot, just like he was. And he's been going on with having problems with his sister, dating boyfriends. He uh, he has a mental illness of his own, focusing on his late aunt who's been taking care of him during his younger years because he keeps remembering her all of his life and he wants to escape it. He's also dealing with everybody's lives in general. But he's trying harder to fit in with the group so he doesn't have to end up becoming a wallflower um, like anybody else. I gotta admit, I did relate to that character when I was a kid, and I pretty much had felt that way even when I was in in my high school years, as well as middle school. Because I've been shy, um, I had trouble talking, communicating with everybody, but at least I got around to it, although I probably still have some problems, but I, I guess I can go around with it at times. So. You get the idea. But prior to this, this was a very well-made film. Um, it does focus on how people have struggled in life, especially if you're a teenager at that age or so on. The movie was set in the early 90s in Pittsburgh, and it does have sort of a 70s, 80s, and 90s feel to it because they played songs like David Bowie's Heroes, Come On Eileen by the Dexy Midnight Runners, and it does have a reference to the Rocky Horror Picture Show since they basically would go to the theater on stage um, for his friends to see. But not only that though, uh, one of the biggest scenes in the film is when they went on a freeway tunnel um, to the tune of David Bowie's Heroes. This is basically a well-made film that you never have expected it to see. I think Logan Lerman gave his great performance as Charlie in the film, along with um, Ezra Miller, who's definitely the real star of the film, as a kid with a great personality of his own, but has been picked on by bullies, and Charlie is trying harder to fight back from, from dealing with all the mess that he's been going through. Also, he's trying to fight back on his love with uh, Sam. He wants to consider uh, Mary Elizabeth to be best friends since he couldn't get along with her as as a girlfriend since he's very afraid to it and he's trying to fix everything that's been going on in, in his life so everything could turn out to be good for him rather than the bad that he's been going through ever since I think you should definitely check this movie out because I think this is the the rarest uh, of all movies like like this especially for those who grew up with it during high school the supporting performances including Tom Savini as the teacher as well as Paul Rudd and Joan Cusack as the doctor were very good as well as Dylan McDermott as the father. I suggest you should check this movie out. It's definitely the kind of movie you definitely want to see on a Saturday. And Steven Shabowski did a very good job adapting his book. Very well made emotional that's translated to screen for the first time. So I give the perks of being a wallflower four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.